Hello friends and welcome to Let's Play Submachine 1 The Basement. I'm your host Magic Mad Mo. This uh, game takes place on a very tiny screen. You can actually see my hands falling into the void. Actually, I'm, I'm sitting in a void for this episode. This is a game, or rather a series of games, this is the first one, that has been recommended to me many times. And for a long time. See, there is a um, collection available as coming soon on Steam. And I thought that I would wait until that game collection came out on Steam and I would play it there, probably remastered or whatever. I didn't really do my research. I just found it there and figured, well, it says coming soon. I'll play it when it comes out. Well, it has been a long time since then and it still has not. So we're just going to play them piecemeal. I'm not waiting for a collection. I'm just going to start playing them probably just as intended. And this game came out in, uh, good lord, 2007. So, you know, about 16 years ago. Actually, yeah, in May. We're coming right up on 16 years ago. This is a 16-year-old game that spawned like 10 games in this series. And this is the first. Um, let's see if I can figure out. There's a ladder? You know what? There's a couple doors and a ladder. Let's go left first, because left is always right. It's never failed me before. I don't know what the submachine is. I guess we're in a basement. I always got the sense that submachine, like, you know, submarine? Like, maybe we were in a submarine, but I don't think that makes any sense at all, probably whatsoever, because it seems like we're in a box. A very basementy, but... Oh, I can go up here. I'm going up a ladder. I've pulled a lever. What I have just done cannot be undone. Actually, it probably can. No, what I have just done cannot be undone. Oh, I've got, I've got a valve. Ooh. Um, I'm going to assume that there's nothing to do with these pipes. I guess we're just trying to escape. That's, I guess. I actually don't know much about the series. I've left myself pretty intent. Ooh, baby. Pretty much, I've, I've left myself pretty much blind to this. But like I said, there's like 10 of these games. So I guess apparently it goes pretty deep. And I'm already getting, um, we've played a little bit of Rusty Lake and I don't remember where, where we left off with Rusty Lake, but that's another sort of series of very cryptic, mysterious point and click games that I probably kind of want to return to. This is like a hatch up here. I'm not sure what it does or how to access it. But yeah, like, it reminds me off the cuff pretty much like that. Now, I don't know which came first. I don't remember when the first Rusty Lake game came out. Because we have played that, but I, I don't remember. Ooh. Oh. 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 Okay, so clearly that's not prepared yet. We can go down this ladder here, maybe. What is this? Is this a lighthouse? Very reminiscent of, like, a Rusty Lake, situ Ru Rusty Lake situation. There's a... It's like three windows, a stairs, it's a lighthouse. I'm not sure what that is supposed to help us with. Oh, I've got, oh, I think I need more Val. Oh, buddy. I'm not sure what that did. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm dealing. What do I got, a nickel? Ancient coin, I was kind of right. Oh, it's got like, uh, like Aztec symbology. I don't know, it could be any number of um, ancient indigenous coin, but I've got... It kind of looks like maybe I slide a card or something through here. It power some kind of electrical something or other. I can't really access the coin. Like, I can't click on it to, like, put it on something. I can just look at it. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a clue to something. I'm not sure. Let's continue to explore. There are a lot of ladders in this basement. No no staircases, no ramps. If you're disabled, I guess just get bet, because you're not going anywhere. Oh, I'm going to get lost. Oh, that is creepy. If a hand comes shooting out of that drawer, I'm going to be real concerned. I've got a spoon! <laughs> okay, um... That's great. Uh, that was probably the creepiest way I've ever been handed a spoon before. In a game or real life. Either or. I got 
some lights here, green, green, red. We've pulled two levers, so perhaps that's the greens. I might need a third lever, and that'll activate that third green. Have we got a drip? Have we got a leak? Can I spoon the leak? I don't see anything else to do here. I might need a bucket to put down just to get a hold of a little bit of water. And I think I gotta put some kind of diode or something into there. I'm not entirely sure. Good God, I'm popular right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that through the microphone when my phone vibrates. <laughs> oh, here's my third lever. I'm popular right now. I should probably look at that. A single page from a diary. Oh God, I can't read this. My screen is so tiny. I can't even see it. Last, last summer, I went camping under the big waterfall of Kent. I guess this was a great trip for me. However, some people do not understand why. Well, I did lose my left arm, but what the hell? I found out that I had a third arm, the invisible one. Since then, I started to learn how to use my karma arm. And soon my skills were those of a master. It wasn't a surprise to me when people started turning their backs on me since I was considered to be a freak and mentally ill. Funny thing, I can't tell them the truth. It would be like explaining the possibility of space travel to a goldfish. So I'm just trying to... I guess that's it. I was having some difficulty reading that. Feel free to pause and read at your own pace. Uh, hey, actually, I'm looking at the... It was e It's easier to read on my recording software. <laughs> I should have read it off thought. I should be playing the game through my recording software. It'd be easier. <laughs> you guys have no idea. My screen is so tiny. And I don't know. I couldn't figure out how to make it bigger. I couldn't. It wasn't possible. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I've got maybe some screws up here that need a screwdriver. Maybe the spoon. If you use like the back end or maybe even the curved end of the spoon and like use it like a weird screwdriver type thing, I bet it would, under the right circumstances, it would be possible. What am I looking at? Oh, oh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've also got a number of symbols here. Okay. I've also got some more screws here. I'm not entirely unconvinced that the spoon is not going to be a screw <laughs> screwdriver. So we need a four digit combination. I'm not entirely against the idea that this coin is somehow supposed to hint at it, but I don't see any obvious symbols. Cause this is like a weird like I symbol. This is wait, like the letter I, this is like a T or something. And this is like some sort of, I don't know, some kind of circle-y thing. And this is like an asterisk and this is a dollar sign or an S. This is like wheat or something. This is a carrot. And by carrot, I mean like the symbol of a carrot, not like, Arr, ah, what's up, dog? Anyway, uh, that's like a percent sign. How, let's get out of this. I, I don't know what I'm dealing with right now. How did I get into this place? Hey. Oh. Hey. Ah. I'm going to assume that I need to get all of them up at the same time. <laughs> I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> I'm a master of puzzles. Point and click games. I'm um, right, the tile D kind of also looks like a closed eye on the triangle. How many of you, you clicked every single bell and then just cl kept clicking the last one until it worked? I mean, come on. Not everyone can be as freakishly and handsomely genius as I am. Now, we do have all three levers pulled. Now, I don't remember where that was that we needed to be. Aha, it is this one. I told you that's what this was for. I've got the tile C now. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm slightly lost in this place. Is there anywhere we haven't been at this point? Have I been everywhere? I want to say, ooh, where am I? I'm back to here. Okay, okay. What was uh, to the left of here? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it was this thing. We, we didn't actually solve this yet. I might, ooh, don't ignore that. Can I put these tiles in here? That doesn't seem like it would make sense. I feel like, do I need to put something in these or do I need to do this in a certain pattern? Cause it's not like, oop. Yeah. You know what, where was that, where was that one big lever at? Uh, oh, this is where the tiles go, ha, huh? look at this. 
I need two more tiles. Where was the big lever at? You remember the big one? The big boy? Where I was like, well, maybe once I pull out this one. I bet. I bet you. And there's probably like some kind of... Does this help me actually? I bet there's some kind of clue about what pattern these guys need to be in. And I bet that's what's connected to this. But I don't actually know what... This coin has to mean something. I see... What am I supposed to see? It's like a bird thing with feathery eyes and a snout and a... I don't know what I'm looking at. I'll be I'll be right honest with you. He's got a talon? If this ancient coin is a clue, I don't I don't know what it means. What, what if I uh, what if I do just leave all of these open? Did I try pulling the lever with all of them? I think I did technically. Okay. I just I just get the feeling that that's what this is like about. And I could go through like every single permutation and every single possibility. That would be kind of boring. Uh, what, what, what else do we have? <laughs> what else do we have uh, that I can do? I did, I did put this valve here and I don't think we discovered what it did. If my orientation is correct, that valve should be right above us, right? Right up left. Yeah, that valve is immediately above us right now. So, can I go further to the left? What's on the left side of this? What's, or what's uh, uh, above this, if I can? What's, what's... All right, there's something going on here. We didn't figure out the clock. I can't spoon, I cannot spoon the clock. It looks like I probably need to put some kind of weights there and I can't use the coin. Uh, was I supposed to be able to use this note for anything? He lost his left arm, but had an invisible third arm. Have we tried doing, like if he lost his left arm and had the second arm and you know, his right arm and the th uh, invisible third arm, would that combo work? And possibly the other way around, if it's not this way. Like that might be a clue from the note. It might, it might be this, you know, just based on this thing. If this works, I'm going to, like, scream. Ah. Bummer. This could be a clue, uh, like... That, right, because there's three of them, right? Like, left, middle, right? Like, I, I don't know if it means that it needs to be, like, this or the other way around. But we can try both of those combos, if that's what it comes from. Not quite that... Uh, how about, how about this? And you know what? There's a strong possibility that that has nothing to do with this. What if actually, what if it's this? It was this! Oh, okay, so it was, it was this combo. Oh my God, what did it activate? Can I go back to, where was it? Down here? Ah, yes that did something i just don't i just don't know what it did it did something i heard water where was that leaky pipe was it the leaky pipe it was the leaky pipe i got a little something here i got an old pearl all right made a big puddle a real big puddle what do i do with the pearl that was really exciting. Can I put the pearl in here? I've I've banged the spoon on pretty much most things at this point. What needs a pearl? The pearl's itty bitty teeny tiny, by the way. Um, is there something down here? Pearl? Do you want a pearl? Is there like a little? I don't remember seeing like a hole to put a pearl into. So. Oh, does the pearl go on the end of this? Oh, it balances out the weight, maybe, or something. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> you know, that was, I, I love that. I love that that worked. But now I don't know what to do from here. I <laughs> I have a spoon. But that's all I really got to go by. And I haven't gotten the spoon to do anything to anything. I, that, I think that's the escape. I think that hatch up there is the escape. Um, how about this panel? There's The only thing I can think of is that there's that number code where I need a four-digit code, but I don't know what the, what, what it is. There's not a date on here, right? I'm going to look at the recording software and I'm going to zoom in here. There's no, like, numbers on here. I don't even know that I see the symbols that we saw on the four-digit thing. And then also there's the case of the, the lighthouse situation. I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean. One, two, three, four. That's all I got right at the moment. This is connected up to this metal thing up here, which would be down here. It's connected to this guy. So if I can power this thing somehow, but then it's it's connected to like the foreground. So I don't, the power has to be for this. Right? Like, we haven't figured this guy out. And all I have is a spoon. Man, I was really hoping this spoon would, like, maybe tear open this panel. Do you see that? No, you don't. You don't see that. Hey, God. Hey, God. If I... Hold up. Hold up. Look. <laughs> I didn't realize this space was going to be important. Look at this. Right under here. If I hover... There's a code that... <laughs> There's a code appearing. Why though? Five eight five nine is what I think it says. Five eight five. Is that the code? Eight five nine. I think it. Oh god. I knew the coin had to be important somehow. It opened! I knew the code had to be... The code. The coin had to be important somehow. But... <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's done. Oh, okay. Um, excuse me while I wake up. Oh, uh, we've been... I've been walking around these rooms for a while looking for anything at all that would be different and useful. I've got this, um... Uh, uh, electrical fuse that I believe yes goes into this thing does that power the lever from earlier up here it does see I'm actually like I've basically memorized the layout of this now the question is what does that what does that do because that's actually the opposite order of what I thought we were going to do it in. I thought maybe I needed to pull the lever to lock the code or something. So we, we did things a little different from what I thought it was going to do, but what does it do? It, that, uh, like, uh, what, 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 what else did we have that was electrically run? Was there something else with electricity somewhere that I have forgot temporarily forgotten about oh yeah this thing i forgot about this thing it's powered now it's lit spoon spoon it's lit now it's 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 uh it wasn't doing this <laughs> it wasn't doing this earlier spoon all i have is spoon maybe it powered something else all i have is spoon Oh, Spoon! Spoon? Spoon! Oh, that actually did a thing. I knew, I knew there was a panel here. So did that other electrical box that I tried to spoon earlier, does it just not do anything? Does that just not do anything at all? Da 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 da! Wait, there's a door here? 
and I can't go through the other doors. So what about that hatch that we saw earlier? Does that not go anywhere? Does that not mean anything? What about the lighthouse? It's an elevator? Click button? Did I get out of the basement? Ding. Do I win? Do I, do I click button? Oh, I thought that was gonna go down. I'm like, I just came from down. Is that the outside world? We escaped. We did it. Why were we there? What was the basement? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we accomplished, <laughs> but we're not stuck in there anymore, and I'll take it. That was Submachine 1, The Basement. If you guys enjoyed that, be sure to hit that like button. If you do, maybe we'll play the second one. Until next time, bye!